joined now by Cape Breton Eagles rookie defenseman Owen Arnold. Owen, we're into the month of February. What are your thoughts on the season thus far for yourself and for your team? I'll start with the team first. It's been a good start for the team at the start of the year. We went on that hot streak. I think it was six, maybe seven games. That was a real momentum booster for us just to, we could believe in ourselves that we could beat all these teams. And then the past few games, we've been rolling pretty well. I think we're battling for a playoff spot and hopefully we can surprise some teams in there. You were drafted by Bathurst, and you ended up coming over to Cape Breton in a trade. What was your response when you found out you were going to be an Eagle? First of all, I was excited because I knew Cape Breton was a real good spot. My parents were telling me lots about it, and it's definitely a bigger town than Bathurst. It's been awesome so far. It's been great. Tell us about the connection between you and Sylvain Couturier. I'm sure that was a big part of you coming to Cape Breton. He was a GM in Bathurst when they drafted you. Trades for you here. What did he tell you when you were drafted, and how similar to that was it when he traded for you? Obviously, he said he likes me. He said that this kind of why went out and got me me at that first trade deadline and he just said we're building for a team for now but also a team for the future and hopefully we'd like to have you part of that and that sounded great to me. I was interested in the guys who get drafted after the 15 year old year and then go back because that is a common path in the QMJHL. What was your last season of U18 hockey like and how much did the training camp at Bathurst help you in that season? It was awesome. The start off with the camp in Bathurst it was a great experience playing with a lot of good players and then just going back that year having a good season playing lots and just getting experience from everything from the off ice on ice stuff working hard and just being ready for this year it was great you guys won the Moncton last year for St. John too how exciting was that I'm sure big rivalry between the Vitos and Flyers that's probably the biggest rivalry and I'd like to say in the Maritimes for hockey but I'm not sure what the other leagues are like it was a great game that game and we had a great rivalry all year and it was good that we could get that win out of there because that was a great tournament to win and maybe a kick in the pants that your rival wins the Telus Cup but it actually makes it more impressive the fact that you were able to beat them in that tournament. I always ask the bigger guys about this because I can't relate as someone who's not exactly tall. Curious if you ever had any physical growing pains growing up because you get that with some of the taller players and do you feel like you're still growing? Now, I'm not sure if I want to be still growing. Uh, <laughs> I'm happy with the height I'm at, maybe fill out a little bit more, but as far as growing pains go, and I'm sure all, all the tall people can relate. Maybe a little bit in the lower back, get tired a little easier, but that's stuff you can work through and it's been good so far, knock on wood. As a rookie, you're one of the players who's in and out of the lineup. How different is your preparation when you're playing versus when you're not? And when you go through a stretch where maybe you're out for a couple games in a row, how does that affect your mindset? How do you try to work through that? There's been ups and downs throughout the season, but my preparation mainly stays the same. I try and treat every day like it's a game day, no matter what. Just work as hard as I can, whether I'm in or out of the lineup. And if I'm not, then be ready for the next time I get a chance. It's been like that. It's been good. Another thing with that, too, is you end up playing with different people. Sometimes, too, when the team's rolling 7D, you might have a different partner every time you're out there. Has that been a benefit, do you think, getting to learn from different guys? Yeah, definitely. It's a lot different from midget hockey where you're stuck with just a rotation of six. You play with a lot of the same people a lot of the time, and there's pros and cons to that. It's been great playing with all the older guys and even some of the younger guys. It's been a good experience. It's helped me a lot. You're a St. John guy. We talked before how you went to the Memorial Cup this year, saw some games there. Did you go to a lot of games growing up? Any players that caught your eye, either on the Sea Dogs or opposing players, maybe? Obviously, all the Sea Dogs guys like Hubert O and just all of them in general. Shabbat, even Matthew Joseph. I was big into that year when they made that run and won the President's Cup that year. It was pretty cool to watch and just everyone. The Q's such a great league and it's produced so many good players over the years. I've seen and watched so many, so many good players. And as far as the Memorial Cup goes, it it was awesome to see. That's the most packed that St. John has ever been, the loudest I've ever heard it there. It was awesome. Yeah, I was lucky to get up to that tournament. You're right. The atmosphere was something else. You'd mentioned to us before you play both baseball and volleyball. It's somewhat high levels, I think. Just how much did that help your hockey, do you think? And how nice is it to be able to play different sports? When you're growing up, I believe that it's it's good to have a mix of different sports and take breaks from hockey sometimes, but it's a lot of the same friends and those kind of people followed along with the same sports that we all took the same sports like volleyball, baseball, even sometimes soccer. And it was fun just staying with that group of guys. And it's awesome to take a little break from hockey once the season's over. But as the years kind of went by, I'm a hockey I figured out that that was the path I wanted to go down, and that's where I am. I think that's a common story for guys your age, and I hope that that stays there because it makes sense if you're going to commit to the game that you focus more on hockey, but it's nice that you had the years where you were playing other sports. You were a student in the month earlier this year. There was a nice little story on you and the Q website, and one thing I thought that was interesting you told me was the social aspect of school, and that's probably really important for hockey players because you don't really get a chance to meet other people in the community because you're so entrenched with your team. How important is it to go to school, not just to go to school, but to meet other people in the community? Yeah, exactly. 
I'm not sure that I would even know too many people without school. Cape Breton's an awesome spot. There's a lot of things to do, a lot of people there to meet. And I think schools just kind of made all those things more of a possibility, meeting all these people. And there's definitely been a few people in our classes that I've clicked with, and it's been good. It's really good to hear. Back to the game. Speaking of your first year in the queue, how do you feel you've developed thus far? And how would you describe yourself as a player for someone who hadn't seen you play before? I describe myself as a big, trying to be a little more physical, but I feel like I'm getting there smart defenseman. I feel like I can play both sides of the puck pretty well. This year's been, it's been a learning curve for sure. There's been ups and downs, but I feel like the experience that I've gained from this year is going to help me in future years, and it's, it's going to be a, a fun ride here in Cape Breton for years to come. Fans certainly hope that for you. Best of luck going forward with everything. Owen, thanks for this. Thank you very much. That's Eagles defenseman Owen Earl joining us at the intermission. You're listening to Cape Breton Credit Union Eagles Hockey 1270 CJCB.